and we are ready to go. All right, so let's warm it up. <laughs> Those big, big little arm circles, palms are racing down. Dogs are ready too. Like, we're gonna do this today. Take those palms up, take it back. Let's swing it out, give me that back lunge, arms are up, give me that chest opener. So we're gonna pull those arms back, reach them together. Two more here. Last one. Take it into that squat, feet hip width apart. We got two more. Last one, then those big arm circles. Take it back. We're gonna take it to our jumping jack at three, two, jumping jack. This is the on jumping you'll do today. Toe touches. So keep them narrow. You hand you through those hips. Take that hand to that opposite foot. Two more. Last one. And take it up. Give those knee hugs. Pull it in. Support those hip flexors. Those glutes, that hammy. Keep those shorts back. Got two more. Last one. Then take those arms up. I want you to pull them back and then swing them down nice and quick. So pull them back. Swing it quick. Try to get that range of the motion in your shoulders. Get those biceps behind your ears if you can. Two more. Last one. Last jack and let's get boogieing. Bring it down. All right, you're gonna want your heavy weights for your first one. I gotta adjust my, my bottom camera here. See cow cow. All right, we're gonna start off with our chest press into a bridge leg lift. So palms are facing toward your hip frame here. We're gonna hold that bridge up here as well and get our arms out. Then you're gonna lose your weight, keeping that bridge up. Right leg will come up and you have that leg lift. We'll switch that one out halfway. Might have to move cow. <laughs> All right, everything's for 45 seconds. Get yourself set. We get to lay down, have fun. And chest press, take them out. Remember, palms are facing towards each other. But do you still want to be in that bridge? Remember those weights want to meet each other at the top. Tap your tricep at the bottom. Let's see 
Yes. Almost there. And rest. Nice job. So lose the weights. Just take it in that bridge. I'm going to have to kick these dogs out today. Ready. Right leg up. And let's go. Bring it down and up. Out. Out. And switch that leg. It didn't work. I kicked them out and they came back. <laughs> oh, Last one. And get those weights back in. Ready, ready. And let's go. Chest press. Here, squeeze those glutes here as well. Your booty should be burning by the end of the set. Almost there. Last one. And waist back down. Take a little breath. Take that right leg up and let's go. Leg lifts. those glutes up still. Let's up those hips. Try to keep that left leg straight. One more. And bring it down. Last round on these. Chest press. Take it up. And let's go. Breathe. Exhale every single rep. Almost there. Two more. Last one. And wait down. All right, right legs up, extend it, and let's go. We're going to bring that leg down as far as you can, hover it without touching it. My booty is burning. Two more. Last one. And switch that leg. Almost there. Keep them up, keep them up. I started drifting down. <laughs> Two more. Last one. And done. Woo! All right, we are standing for the next set. And you're gonna want your light weights. Adjust this perch. So, light weights for your first one. 
One heavy weight for your second one. All right. I'm going to give you that shoulder shaver to a military press. So arms are at 90. You're going to close them, open them, and then press them straight up. You're going to switch to your one heavy weight, and you have that back bones with that rotation. So you're going to lunge it back, rotate towards the front, step it through, switch it out. So we'll alternate that one out. <coughs> All right, set it up. You got about 10 seconds. Lightweight till first. <clears throat> and let's go. So arms are at 90. Close them. Open. Press straight up. So this is a challenging move. A lot on your shoulder. If you have an injury on your shoulder or your weights are just too heavy, you can totally do this with no weight at all. Ten seconds here. Keep that 90 degrees. Don't let them fall. One more. And rest. All right, so down to your heavy weight. It's gonna hang out right in front of your chest. And you're twisting towards that front leg. Ready, and let's go. Lunge it down, twist, back through. Alternate those legs. Get low in that lunge. Remember, concentrate on twisting through those obliques. Shoulders stacked over top of those hips. Ten seconds here. Let's squeeze one more in. And rest. All right, switch them out. <clears throat> Light weights back up. And let's go. Remember, core needs to be really tight here. Keep that body steady. And keep holding that frame. Don't let those shoulders drop. Don't let those elbows down. Woo! 10 seconds. Last one. And rest. All right, shake it out. A heavier weight back up and let's go really strong lunges here Get as low as you can let that knee hover Remember that weight does not move from that chest. You twist through that body. Almost there. more and switch it out all right last round ready and let's go focus on each rep Remember, 
Remember, don't lose that frame. Beautiful 90 degree arms. You got this. 10 little seconds. Let's get one more in. And rest. Woo. All right, one more time on that lunge. Wait up. And let's go. And we get a good rotation all the way to the side. Almost there. Give me one more. And rest. Nice job. All right, water break time. All right, you can put your light weights to the side. You won't need them this round. I right, have a little balancing act for this one. So you're just gonna need one dumbbell. We'll switch it out halfway. You're gonna give me a step back, kick back for two reps into a balanced bicep curl for two reps, all right? So it's gonna look a little bit like this. So you step it back, kick it back for two, stand it up, pull that knee in, give me that curl for two, and then right back down. So if you can, try to come from that position right into that curl, all right? If you need to, just tap it down, all good. We'll switch it out halfway. And then that second one, you have a dumbbell double crunch, so we'll be down on the ground. Arms are extended with that weight. You're gonna pull it in, wrap it, and then extend it back out. All right, so set it up. One heavy, all you need this time. Right side's moving first. And let's go. So kick it back. For two, stand it, hold that leg, give me that curl for two, then send it right back up. Or if you can, try not to let that right foot touch down until you're in the back position. You got one more. Last one. And switch it out. <laughs> I'm shaky on this side today. Last one. And let's take it down to the ground. So heels ideally do not want to touch the ground here. Right, extend it out and let's go. Crunch it, pull it back in. So get that weight to those ankles if you can. Extend it all the way back out. Almost there, we're flying through it. Last one. And roll it on up. Get it ready, right side's moving. And let's go. Right leg back, kick it back. Two reps, stand it up. Hold that balance. Bicep curl, two reps. Last 
last one. And switch to the left. Remember, in that kickback, you are leaning it forward. Chest should be above that knee. Last one. And take it down. Rock out that double crunch. And let's go, let's go. Get their shoulders off the floor. Lift it up. Almost there, last one. And take it out. Last round here. <clears throat> Ready. Right legs going, and let's rock it. Ooh, I'm gonna lose it, there we go. <laughs> Last one here. <clears throat> and switch it out. Left side's cruising. Last one. And bring it down. Ready, wait over that head. Next hovering, and let's go. Remember, easy neck here. Use the abdominals to pull it up. Two more. Last one. And rest. Woo! All right, we are back down on the ground for both. And you'll just need your heavy dumbbells. So let me set this bag up. <laughs> it's only bad thing about going up and down. All right. So we're doing our chest fly next into our bird's thrust. And weights for both of them. So in that chest fly, once again, we're holding that bridge. Paws are racing towards each other. We're opening our arms out nice and wide. Then you're gonna place those weights on top of your hips. Then we're gonna be rocking out that bridge thrust. All right? Once again, my goal here is to get that booty burning. All right, ready, ready. Set it up, hips up. Palms facing toward, and let's go. And we open those arms up as wide as you can. Just a slight natural bend in the elbow. It's got 15 whole seconds here. Once 
one more. And release those glutes. Take your weights on top. <clears throat> You're gonna hold them there. Ready, and let's go. So you want your feet hip width apart. Driving through those heels. Squeeze those glutes. Or it's just a little simple tap down to the ground. And if you don't like it with weights, take them off. It's all good. Fifteen seconds left here. Keep squeezing. Hold that booty burning again. One more. And rest. Woo. Two more rounds. Just like that. Ready, ready. Hips up, weights up. And let's go. Remember, keep opening them nice and wide. Feel that chest open and pull. Almost there. Keep those hips up. Last one. And bring it down. Weights on if you're taking it there. Ready, hips back up and let's go, thrust it. Like concentrate on pushing that weight up through those hips, using those glutes, squeeze them tight. Almost there. You should feel every muscle in that back frame right now. One more. And bring it down. All right. Set it up. Last round. Woo! Hips up. And let's go. Or keep opening that frame. Get that tricep down to the ground. Tap it. Want a full chest fly. Ten seconds here. Last one. And bring it down. Last round on them. Wait it up. Ready. And let's go. Thrust it. Woo. Keep it up. Keep it up. Let it burn. You're dry to those heels. You're loose on those toes. Ten seconds. Two more. Last one. And done. Woo! Nice work. All right, we are back up on our feet. 
For your first, we will take it down for your second. So I'm gonna need to like half adjust there. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Heavier weight for sure for both of these again. It's gonna give me a hammer curl and a twisting press. We'll alternate sides, all right? So palms are facing towards each other the whole time. You'll hammer curl it, you'll twist and press, and then you'll take it back down. So hammer curl, twist and press, and then back down. That second movement, is that leg lift, lat pullover, all right? If you've taken my class, you know them, because <laughs> I love them. All right, so set yourself up. We got two more sets, and that's it. All right, weights up, palms are racing towards each other. Ready, and let's go. Hammer curl it, twist and press. I want you to treat this like two moves, so we're not using that momentum from one or the other. And when you twist and press, your heels should come up, all right? Full twist of those obliques. Ten little seconds here. Last one, and rest. All right, lose one weight, bring it down. Legs and arms are straight. Right here, leg lift, lap pullover. Ready, ready, and let's go. Remember, lower back stays on the mat the entire time. Heels don't get to touch the ground. Almost there, 10 seconds left. Last one. And rest. All right, bring it up. Ready, ready. And let's go, hammer girls. Rotational press here. dog is back in. <laughs> They're sitting over there so sad looking. <laughs> 15 seconds left here guys. Keep it up. position your whole body. Make sure you breathe through this one. <laughs> Up. 
Your core is tight here as we twist through. Let it kind of loosen up so you can get a full rotation. But then brace it when you're coming back down and hold that weight. Almost there. And squeeze one more in. And rest. All right. Lose it. Take it down. Ready, ready. And let's go. Crush those abs. Remember, take it as low as you can without letting that back come up. Fifteen seconds here. One more. And rest. All right, pop it up. Last set's coming. All right, you just need your lightweights for this one. You're done with that heavier set. You're gonna have a full front raise. <clears throat> so arms are straight up. You're gonna bring one down at a time, back up. Keep them as straight as you can. And that second movement is gonna be our push up with a side rotation. So down that push up, drop those heels, open all the way up, and then back through, all right? All right, this is it. Ready, weights up. And let's go. Remember, arms are straight here. Release one down, take it back up, hold it, and release the other. So once again, if you have shoulder issues today, go really light or go no weight at all with this one. Remember, we're not popping it up, all right? It's pull down, lift up. Almost there. Last one. And weights down. All right, push up. Alternating side plank. I'm going to show you that option as we go down. Ready, ready, and let's go. So if you're on your knees, you're taking it here. Go drop that bottom knee, that bottom leg down. Keep that knee down, and then open it up. All right. Really want you to concentrate on a straight line here. So those hips and shoulders are in line with each other, and those heels are all the way down. Full rotation up. Almost there. One more. And rest. Whew. All right, shake it out. Get those light weights back up. Two more rounds and you're done. Arms up and let's go. That is the noise of my cat scratching on the baby gate. <laughs> What do we do? <laughs> Almost there, guys. 10 little seconds. Last one. Woo! And rest. Oh, yeah. Feeling that one. 
All right, ready, ready, push-ups. Get it set. And let's go. They're core set here. Head's neutral with that spine. We all too often start dipping that head down. We don't want to be here. Look it up. Almost there, 10 tiny seconds. Keep those glutes tight here. Abs are engaged. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. We're not hunched up. Give me a little giraffe neck. Extend it out. You're so close. Keep strong for all the way for those last reps. One more. And weights down. Woo! All right, for the finish. Let's rock out those push ups. Remember, you're not breaking halfway, you gotta take it down to those knees. Otherwise, you're not doing much your chest for, for your chest. Ready? And time is on. These are your last reps for this workout. So push hard for it. Strong reps the whole time. Ten seconds. You got three, two, and done. Woo! Nice work. All right, roll in the child's pose. <laughs> so you're down here. Go ahead and walk both hands over to your right. And over to the other side. And then back into the middle. And then roll it up, tuck those toes under, spin those hips up to down dog. And the slight bend in your knees, walk your hands towards your feet. Hold it down here first. Good, good. stretching that glute, those hammies. And then roll it on up. Give that chest stretch, arms are up, pull them back, open it. And then bring it forward, right arm straight across. And then up and back for that tricep. And take it down, other side, straight across. Up and back. And swing it out. And we have a quick stretch real quick. Right legs up. Be 
and give me that heel down, toe up, slide it back. We use that booty a lot today, make sure we stretch it out. And then roll it on up, other side, quad stretch. And then bring it down, pull it back. And take it up, and you're nice to be heel up. And you are done. Awesome job today. Way to crush your workout like always. <laughs> and hopefully we'll be back in person on a on a Thursday. <laughs>